Meet the Full Stack Developer, the Swiss army knife of the tech world. They can build your front end, wire your back end, then deploy it all to the cloud if they don't burn out first. But lately, whispers in the tech world are saying full stack? More like full slack. Do we even need them anymore? Is this the fall of full stack developer? Or are we just redefining what it means to wear all the hats? Well, let's start with how this whole thing began. The term full stack became a thing in the early 2000s, when startups were popping off faster than JavaScript frameworks. Back then, the dream was simple. Hire one person to do everything. Need a landing page? They got it. An API? No problem. A full CI/CD pipeline? Sure. After they learn what CI/CD even stands for, startups loved them because they were cheap and versatile. Why hire three developers when one person with a decent grasp of JavaScript and a figure-it-out attitude could handle the entire product lifecycle? It was efficient, it was cost-effective, and it worked. Well, kind of. But the tech landscape kept evolving, and as tools, languages, and frameworks multiplied like gremlins after midnight, so did the expectations on full-stack developers. And here's the problem with doing it all. Tech is like a buffet. There's too much on the menu, and if you try to pile everything onto one plate, something's going to spill. Let's say you're a full stack dev today. Your stack probably looks something like React or Angular for frontend, Node.js or Python for backend, Docker or Kubernetes for DevOps, and some database management on top. Now, keeping up with all of that, it's a full-time job on top of your actual full-time job. And let's not even talk about burnout. Context switching between fixing a CSS grid and debugging a server-side memory leak is like trying to solve a Rubik's cube while riding a unicycle. Even worse, you can end up being good at everything but great at nothing. And in a world where employers increasingly value deep expertise, being a journalist can feel like running on a treadmill while everyone else is sprinting down the track. Enter the specialists. As software systems became more complex, companies realized they needed experts. Not just someone who could set up a database, but someone who could optimize queries for a billion transactions a day. Not just someone who could write an API, but someone who could make it so efficient that it could run on a potato. Think about it. When you're building a skyscraper, you don't hire someone who kinda knows architecture, plumbing, and electrical engineering. You hire a team of specialists, each one laser focused on their domain. And that's exactly what big tech companies are doing today. Microservices architecture, cloud computing, and AI have pushed us further into specialization. Front-end engineers, back-end engineers, DevOps experts, machine learning engineers, you name it, each with their own niche and each critical to the whole. So does this mean the full-stack developer is doomed? Well, not exactly. There's still a place for them, especially in startups and small companies where budgets are tight and versatility is key. But here's the catch. Even full-stack developers today are rarely truly full-stack. Most lean towards one side, front-end, back-end or DevOps, while maintaining a working knowledge of the other areas. In other words, the modern full-stack developer is more of a T-shaped professional, broad in general knowledge and deep in one or two areas. And that depth is what sets you apart. If you are a full-stack developer who knows front-end but really signs at building scalable APIs, you're still golden. Just don't try to out-specialize the specialist. Play at your strengths. So, how do you decide being a generalist or a specialist? Well, it depends on where you want to go. If you love variety and thrive in fast-paced environments, full-stack development is still a great choice. You'll be the go-to person in startups, smaller teams, or any company that values versatility over deep expertise. And on the flip side, if you dream of working on cutting-edge AI models or designing billion user systems, specializing is the way to go. Pick an area you're passionate about and go deep. Security, machine learning, cloud computing, front-end animation. There's no shortage of niches to explore. And here's the best part, you can start as a generalist and pivot to a specialist later. In fact, many great specialists started broad, found what they loved and doubled down. Ultimately, the key is adaptability. The tech world moved faster than my internet connection during a Zoom call, and staying curious, open and ready to learn will always keep you ahead. So, the full stack developer isn't dead. They are just evolving. Whether you choose to master one domain or embrace the generalist path, the most important thing is to keep building, keep learning and keep growing. And what about you? Are you team full stack or team specialist? Or maybe you are inventing a whole new category. Anyways, until next time, keep coding. And remember, the stack is never full. It's just expanding. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.